Landup is delighted to announce its new agroforestry designer toolkit, built in partnership with Shropshire Council, Ed Colbert, and co-funded by the Trees Outside Woodland Partnership, consisting of DEFRA, Tree Council, Natural England, and Shropshire Council. The toolkit is available for free to all Landup users who are interested in getting started with agroforestry, and you can now generate and edit initial agroforestry designs in our desktop app. In line with DEFRA's recommendations within the Sustainable Farm Incentive, and the Countryside Stewardship Higher Tier. To start generating agroforestry designs with the new toolkit, all you need is an area of interest on a map. This can be a single field or a whole farm, and it can sit on any template within LandApp. Once you have your area of interest, you can access the toolkit via the data download section at the top left. The toolkit consists of three systems. The linear design tool. This is used to create plans for alley cropping or linear silver pasture which adds different tree alleys in the crop or grazed fields. Secondly, is the in-field grid or dispersed design tool, which allows you to drop dispersed points for livestock systems or for random planting that's used for shade, shelter or fodder. Lastly, is the traditional orchard design tool. This generates orchard designs that are low density with a maximum of 125 stems per hectare. For each of the three designs, you're asked a series of questions about the aspects you intend to be incorporated into your design, which helps the LandApps model create bespoke outputs for your farm or field. These include tree density, so understanding how dense you want the planting of the stems to be, aligning with payment structures from the Sustainable Farm Incentive or Countryside Stewardship, or the reason you're creating the designs, such as whether it's for shelter, browse or fruit. For example, when generating a linear design, you're asked about reasons for planting, the planting density, and what orientation you would like the design to follow. If you're unsure, you can let LandApps Toolkit optimise this for you against wind, flooding, or shade. Using any of the tools within the toolkit will produce two layers for your farm. One, showing the existing vegetation that's on that farm or field, such as where trees or scrub may lie. And secondly, the agroforestry design itself, which is displayed within the new agroforestry template. Once generated, you can customise your agroforestry design to your liking, such as choosing from a range of tree species and identifying the tree spacings, the row orientation and the total number of trees that your designs require. These designs can also be shared with an advisor or a land app accredited professional. Designs can also form the basis of a sustainable farm incentive or countryside stewardship plan. Alongside the mapped outputs, LandApp will send you an email confirming your data download and in addition, giving you more information about the partners involved in designing this toolkit, alongside online resources to support you in getting started with agroforestry and how this can bring multifunctional benefits. Want to start exploring agroforestry? The toolkit is freely available in LandApp and aims to help you speed up your initial designs when planning to implement and utilise agroforestry for even better environmental stewardship. We are grateful for the support from Forestry Commission, Nature Friendly Farming Network and the Woodland Trust who have helped feedback into the design of the tool. Try it for free today at thelandapp.com. Happy mapping!